I think you'd be just divine with lavender cream. <laughs> when you come here first. Mm, like a homing pigeon, that's me. Mm -hmm. How was Albany? I missed you, that's how Albany was. Rose, I've made up my mind about something. No, change that. I've made up our minds about something. We're gonna stop fooling around, we're gonna plan to get married, and I mean today. Now, you know I don't what? wanna I hear have another- the same idea. You what? <laughs> well, hey, you two should seem happy. Well, we are um, off to Mount oh. And we thought that we would grab a couple of box lunches to have on the way. Okay. And that means we're going to be eating and driving at the same mm -hmm. time. That sounds like two people in a hurry to me. <sighs> what have you got? Well, Anything in particular see, that's good? Cheese, roast beef, tuna salad. What's what's it going to be? Great. All of them. <laughs> oh, whatever you think is best. Uh, just as long as it's fast, right? Yep. Uh -huh. Rose has been making a lot of quick decisions today, and all of them terrific. The run will do just fine. Thank you. I still can't believe this is happening. Uh, I have never won anything in my entire life, and now to win this marvelous ski trip is like a dream come true. I can imagine. Yeah, and as if that weren't enough, I then got five days off with pay. I mean, you talk about luck. Ooh. Here you go, three sandwiches uh, and uh, coffee to go. You are a doll. I'm trying Thank to you. Know that myself. You two have a great time, will ya? Great time? Are you kidding, Rose? This is going to be one vacation we will never forget. <laughs> bye, bye, drive bye, 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 Jake. Bye. Did you notice? They are a perfect example of what I'm talking about. What's that? Two people who can love each other and deal with each other, even under the most difficult circumstances. Are we in difficult circumstances? Not according to me. How about you? Not in the least. Hmm. Well, what do you say? Are we going to get married? And I mean soon. I, the sooner the better. <laughs> but I don't want one of those quickie ceremonies down at City Hall. Honey, if you will marry me soon, I will rent Yankee Stadium anywhere you mm, want. Just as long as it's a real ceremony. And to cover all the bases, we'll have a rabbi and a priest. How's that? Great. One for each of us. That ought to cover it. Okay. We'll set it up today. Great. I've got one appointment, and then I'll set it up. Okay. Well, how long is your appointment? Well, actually, it's here. Uh, Rick Weber called me this morning in Albany. He said it was urgent that we talk, so we agreed to talk oh, here. Oh, yeah, I think I know what it's about, but I'll let him tell you. In the meantime, I'll call Martha and make sure she can take over here, and then I'll call a priest and try to get together with you today. And I'll call a rabbi and tell him we want to talk to him today. Okay. I guess that covers it. It does beautifully. Rose? Yes? He was happy as I am. Happier. I think I'm going to enjoy being a married man. You're going to hear more, Rick. Believe me. Thanks. Rose. Hi, Rick. Well, Martha's in the kitchen, so we can leave any time. Uh, when are we supposed to see the rabbi? Whoa, we can just make it. Oh, good. I don't want to be late. Yeah, well, let's hurry up before you change your mind. Now, do I look like a woman who's about to change her mind? You look like a woman that I love. You can forget about my changing my mind. Not this time. Oh, yeah? You sure? I'm as sure as God made little green apples. We're doing the right thing, and I even know why. Why? Because I love you, and I want to be your wife. Well, let's, let's go. get going. Bye, Martha. Thanks. Bye, Martha. Great. Now, what can I do for you? Well, first, thanks for seeing us on such short notice, Rabbi. Well, I'm glad to be of help. And to answer your question, we want to get married. <laughs> well, I'm delighted to hear it. Congratulations. Thank We're you. here to ask you to do the ceremony. Well, I always like to take a few hours with couples for counseling before a date is set. Does that suit you? Oh, I think that'd be all right, Rabbi. And barring any problems that may surface during our chats, I'd be happy to perform the service. Well, we do want to get married right away, at least as soon as the arrangements can be made. Of course, we'll adjust our schedule to suit you, right? Oh, absolutely. Oh, fine. Uh, now, as to the service itself, you are both Jewish, I assume. No, Rabbi, I'm a Catholic. But I'm Jewish. Well, may I ask, Rose, uh, are you willing to convert to Judaism? I didn't know that I had to. Well, we've discussed this, Rabbi, and it's perfectly all right with me if Rose chooses not to convert. In fact, we both decided to maintain our traditions. I'm going to remain a Jew, and Rose is going to continue to be a Roman Catholic. Now, that's, of course, is your decision to make, but uh, I uh, have to say that I won't be able to marry you. I'm a little confused. I thought because you were connected with the conservative synagogue that it, there would be no problem. I'm sorry, Jake, excuse me, but I don't understand. What do you mean, conservative synagogue? Uh, would you like to explain it, Rabbi? <laughs> Please, go right ahead. I just hope I get it all right. Uh, 
in Judaism, there are three segments, Rose. There's the Orthodox segment, like Uncle Isaac. Mm -hmm. The Orthodox Jews adhere very strictly to uh, biblical law. Then there's the conservative segment, which allows for a more freer interpretation of the laws. Mm -hmm. And finally, there is the Reform segment. A Reform Jew adheres to the traditions, but does not necessarily adhere to the biblical laws. I see. Is that about right? Well, that's entirely correct. I should add, however, that that's no guarantee that all Reform rabbis would agree to perform the ceremony. You're saying that there are some that are more strict than others? Well, it's really a decision for the individual rabbi. Now, in my case, as much as I'd like to help you two people, I cannot marry you. Because this is a conservative synagogue? Well, because as I myself interpret my uh, conservative traditions, I, I cannot perform a marriage ceremony unless both participants are Jewish. I, I simply don't have the uh, authority over non-Jews according to the laws of Moses. I'm really sorry, but I, I must follow the law as I see it. Oh, I understand. I'm concerned about you, though, Jake. Your Uncle Isaac is not going to approve at all if we're not married with a religious ceremony. Don't worry about that. Uncle Isaac is not going to approve either way. True. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're just going to have to find somebody to do the ceremony. I'm sorry, Rabbi, if you've wasted your time. Oh, no, not at all. I'm always pleased when two people decide to enter into matrimony. I wish you both the very best. Thank, Thank you. you. Shalom. Go with God. for both of you. Have you set the date? No, no, we haven't yet. We have a few arrangements to make first. We both feel the sooner the better. Good. Now then, do either of you have any questions? Oh, yes, actually, I have a couple. I'll try to answer them for you. Well, as I've told you, Father, I'm not Roman Catholic. Would I have to convert in order for you to marry us? I'd prefer that, of course. And should you wish to convert, I'd be happy to instruct you. But the answer is no. You do not have to convert to the Catholic faith. Well, that's good to hear. You see, we've done a lot of talking about this, and we've decided to re maintain our own religions. I have no problem with that, Jake. You're a Jew, are you not? Yes, I am, Father. I can't say that I'm a very devout Jew. Uh, I was raised in the Jewish faith, though. I was bar mitzvahed as a child. And I try to adhere to the principles I was taught as much as I can. In that case, I have no doubt that you and Rose will make a fine life together. I'm sure you have further questions, though. This is a big step you're taking. <laughs> yes, it is. And uh, Jake and I feel that under the circumstances, we would prefer to have a ceremony performed both by a priest and a rabbi, which brings us to another question. Mm -hmm. That is, if we can find a rabbi who's willing to right. do it. Uh, let's assume that you find such a rabbi. Uh, what is the question? Well, we'd like to know if you would personally be willing to perform the ceremony along with the rabbi. That can be arranged, Rose. When you've selected the rabbi, ask him to call me, and we'll work out the ceremony. Well, oh. I guess we solved one of our problems. We certainly have. Thank you very much, Father. I'm very grateful. I'm very, very happy for both of you. You've made the usual agreement as to the children, I assume? I beg pardon? Any children you and Rose might have in the future. Oh, uh, what agreement? I'm sorry, I just took that for granted. As you must know, Rose, you and Jake have to agree that any children you might have in the future will be raised as Catholics. What? Surely you've agreed to this. No, well, no, we yes, haven't. Yes, we have. There seems to be some confusion here. I thought you understood, Jake, that while it is not necessary to convert, you must very definitely agree in advance of the marriage that your children will be raised in the Catholic faith. Rose, oh, you didn't tell me that. I really never thought about it, or I thought I had told you. I just, I took it for granted that as a Catholic... Such an agreement is required before I could marry you. Uh, do you have some objection to such an agreement, Jake? Uh, I don't know. Like Rose, I haven't given it much thought. As a matter of fact, I didn't know anything about it. Well, think about it. Without such an agreement in advance, I cannot marry you. Let's go. Now? Yes, we have things to talk about. A lot. Thank you, Father. We'll be in touch. What's going on around here? Why is the place closed? Well, I told Martha to close up right after lunch. Oh? Why? Well, I thought we might we might want to celebrate, so we might not have a place to ourselves. I guess I was a little hasty, huh? Rose, I'm sorry. So am I. 
What's all this? I guess Martha was a little hasty, too, huh? Really don't have anything to celebrate, do we? Rose, if you think it was my fault... No, Jake, I don't think it was your fault. I don't know that it's anybody's fault. If it is, it's mine. I, I made the wrong assumption. I really should have asked you. Yes. I just thought that you realized how important it is to me that my children be raised Catholic. I didn't know that. And I did get the distinct impression from you that you really don't care that much about religion. Well, I don't care that much about religion, but I do care about tradition. When that priest assumed that our children would be raised Catholic, that's the first time all of this hit me. What? They would be strangers to their own father. At least we wouldn't share the same beliefs. I mean, that could always come between us. So what do we do now, huh? I know there's a way out of it. I know it. I really want there to be a way, Jake. But what? Maybe he had just better call it a day. Give us some time to think. Yeah, something like that. Okay. I'll be going on home. You gonna be all right? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'll see you. of lace.